leave it. Here we go. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. First up, we got Moustakis. He's been swinging pretty good. He falls behind him 2-0. Not the greatest start. Then he comes in, gets strike one. Moose takes the soft stuff. Moose swings over the soft stuff. Moose swings over the soft stuff again. He spins himself right out of there. You probably never really heard of Tyler Alexander. He's on the Tigers last year. He started a bunch of games for him. He didn't pitch that well. The Tigers were the worst team ever last year. Strike three. Bam. See you later. Suarez, two for two, two punchies. He's dealing. Winker's up now. Starts him off soft. Strike one. Goes hard-ish. Kind of. Not really. And then soft again. Strike three. Winker, you're out of there. One, two, three. Three strikeouts. I went into his pitch mix because I wanted to see what was going on. Did this dude make any changes? In 2019, he threw his four-seamer 31% of the time. That dropped all the way to 5.7% of the time. He completely scratched his four-seamer, which means that the changeup ticked up, the sinker ticked up, the curve ticked up. Here's a little breakdown and probably the reason why. If you look down here last year, he threw his four-seamer and his sinker about 54% of the time, and they were both around the exact same speed. So, yeah, the movement may be different, but not enough probably to fool hitters. So they said, dude, you got to scrap one of those. Scrap the four-seamer. Go up to 2020, only 5.7% of the time. He's only thrown it six times this season. The sinker is now the fastball, curve, change, slider. Keeps them more off balance. Those all move differently. I love when guys make changes to their picks, Mitch, and then have tangible results. Now, I don't know if this is going to stay. I don't know if that's exactly what the reasoning why he did it, but he dropped the four-seamer. Look at that pitch. Look at that pitch. Senzel's looking in like, what the hell? But look where Romine sets up and just boom, right into his glove. So soft. Romine's actually as impressive as Alexander this whole clip. 0-2, let's come in. Let's get him to swing over it. Dirt one. Dirt's it. He didn't fall for it, but it sets up the high fastball. Now, he pitched reverse style this whole inning. Usually pitchers will strike one, strike two, fastball, then try to throw something nasty in the dirt to have him swing over it. He's doing the opposite. He's throwing the nasty stuff early, and the fastball's in the zone late. Like that strike three with that fastball right there. Bam. You're gone. Next up, we got Freddie, and this is actually a good at-bat. He gets, he goes 1-1. One, one. Now Romine calls for some soft shit, says, yep, put it there. Galvis swings right over it. 1-2, and two, so they want him to swing over it again. He, was, he hunted that one pretty bad. Let's see if he'll do it again. He does it, but he fouls it off. Okay, now he sits on it. And now he fouls it off again. Just keep throwing that damn thing. Okay, he sat on it. 3-2. Now what do you do? You throw it in the zone. He swings over it, strikes him out. 1-2-3-1-2-3-1-2-3-1-2-3-1-2-3. My dude Tucker Barnhart up. He's going at him with the saw stuff. Gets him in a two-strike count. And Romine's like, let's try that fastball now. Bam. And the thing is, Romine's putting his glove there, and he's throwing it right to his glove. So he got a couple calls that may have been off the plate, but what he's hitting his target perfectly. Now, show goes up, he goes soft, he goes soft, he goes soft again. Shogo doesn't take it. Okay, let's go reverse style. Let's throw the fastball with two strikes now. Put it right there. This freezes a little bit. Nothing I can do about that, but he strike him out. I love the reverse pitching. I think a casual fan wouldn't watch this dude out here and be like, he's mowing him down because it's really tricky. It's really like, you know, it's a different form of, of pitching. Castellanos looking at him like, damn, dude, really? Really, man? He's like, yeah, not bad. He's like, come on. He's like, yeah, okay, it's been pretty, pretty fucking awesome. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. Now, he struck out nine of his first nine. He did pitch the next inning. He hit a guy. He did get another strikeout, so that's 10 strikeouts on the outing for our dude, Alexander. If you picked him up in DraftKings on a whim on the doubleheader day, you would have crushed the strikeouts. You can go get DraftKings right now using code, using promo code JOMBOY. Pick him up again. Maybe he twirls some magic again. Maybe go find another reliever you think is going to come out in the middle of the game and get you 10 Ks. Good luck.